The most scary and shocking videos caught on camera. Scary Comp 117. Got some more horrify here, man. Uh, one of my favorite channels to react to. Let's get it. The video on screen surfaced over three years ago, gaining prominence on social media sites such as Reddit. Is that a snake? It shows a scuba diver in shallow water oh. going on about his business. Never mind. It has since been described as a nightmare for those who have thalassophobia. Take a look. Thalassophobia? Like fear of the water or something? They're gonna be a massive... What's going on? Is he running out of air? Bro, I ain't never going that deep in the water. Ever. A submarine going right over top of him? Brother, what the hell is happening? What the fudge is happening? As a scuba diver is taking a look at what seems to be a wreck of something, a massive container ship passes right over his head. Yeah. This is oh. downright horrifying, God. as the container ship has no idea that a man is right underneath them. The shaky footage captures the man desperately trying to avoid getting hit by the container ship's propeller. I did not see that thing there until the propeller. <laughs> Luckily, he managed to do so, with this footage being a result of his terrifying encounter. Brother. I, I, no wonder he was terrified. I thought he was running out of air. I thought he was swimming up. This CCTV footage was recorded on the 14th of February 2024 in Bernal, a city in the Altai region of Russia, close to Kazakhstan and Mongolia. This okay. region is notoriously cold and gets a lot of snowfall every single year. In certain cases, that snow accumulates on top of buildings and infrastructure. And this causing is gonna collapse. Yeah. If not maintained properly, it can result in shocking incidents like the one this poor lady was about to witness. Oh god. Jesus. <laughs> Is that like the sad music that plays when something bad happens? <laughs> when something unfortunate happens? That's uh, I think your phone or whatever that is just trolled you. Brother. Wow, she got out of the car. I thought she was going to be trapped in there. As a woman gets in her car, just Ooh. a second later, the roof of the building she just left partially collapsed. Some buildings in Russia have billboards on their roofs, which is what this could have been. Looks the like miraculously it. miraculously escaped this without any injuries, even though it looked like a fatal incident. That's a good freaking car, man. <laughs> On Tuesday, the 24th of October, 2023, authorities in Taiwan would be alerted to an incident that occurred inside of a tunnel. After receiving the report, the police rushed to the scene. When they arrived, the true severity of the accident finally hit. This is one angle that was captured, recorded by a truck's dash cam. Oh, oh my god, what are you doing? Jesus Christ, what is this, a bulldozer? What are you trying to do? Your brakes fail you or something? Dude, look at that. Oh my god. Bro is going like According to 80. The police, it is suspected that a large vehicle did not brake and directly hit the traffic in front, causing a squeeze that almost completely destroyed the vehicle. The driver was trapped in it, and a motorcycle rider was severely injured. Yeah. He ended up underneath the car. This is another angle that is present that showed the moments before the accident. Somehow, the motorcycle rider survived, though tragically, one person passed away as a result of this accident. Stupid, man. 
Especially in a time next two videos are re uploaded of a previous video that was deleted. I probably did not see that. It's been a minute since video I watched. This was posted on the 16th of May, 2024. However, it could have been recorded at an earlier date. It shows a family that is out to enjoy the day, as the weather is pleasant and the skies are mostly clear. Then, as they were just going on about their day, they heard an explosion and with it, a faint whistling-like sound. The video also shows smoke coming from the area a of missile? explosion. That is when they started recording. Take a look at what was captured. Yeah, the alarms are going off. <laughs> Brother! What the hell? Wait, where was this? I don't know where he said this was. When the video starts off, a siren is also heard in the background. Then it becomes clear where all of this was recorded. The poor family were just out to enjoy their day ended up finding themselves in between a Russian missile strike. Of course it was. It really is unclear what the targets were, but regardless, they were awfully close to civilians who were out with their children. They don't give a shit, man. They were far enough away to avoid being directly harmed by the missile, though there's no telling what psychological scars they might have after witnessing something like this. Yeah, dude. God, imagine you were one of the people walking down on that lower part there. On the 27th Stupid. of April, 2024, a tourist in Taiwan would capture the video you see on screen. There's worms? At first glance, it's unclear what the tourist captured, and just seems to be a video of a grassy patch of land with some of the grass being dry. Take a look at what's actually seen on screen. That's a worm, isn't it? Oh yeah, those are worms. That is nasty as shit. Why are you that close? Wait, centipedes or something? Like... Millipedes? I don't know. The tourist ended up capturing a rare phenomenon called the Millipede River. Millipedes. It's a slow moving river of millipedes crawling on the ground in unison and was spotted in a mountainous area of Taiwan. There are easily a thousand of these millipedes, which is extremely More creepy than that. makes your skin crawl. The tour guide that was present referred to this as a bad omen, perhaps for a natural disaster. Oh god, we that's a lot bro, that's the last thing we need. This is dashcam footage that was recorded on board a Tesla on the 8th of May, 2024. Oh boy. The owner of the car, Craig Doty, who's from Ohio, posted it on his social- uh, hi, Ohio, man. Ohio again. Like, a lot of my police videos that I react to are from Ohio, so we have a lot of criminals. Now we have this video in Ohio. I live in Ohio, man. So, you know, it hits a little bit too close to home. ...social media because of the shocking event he just experienced. The craziest part about it all was that it wasn't even his fault, as he had engaged Tesla's full self-driving feature. Tesla is one of the only car brands that offers this, and is widely regarded as one of the most high-tech systems that is currently available on the you market. You should never let your car that drive itself. It though, as this video shows how easily things can go wrong. Drive the car yourself. It was foggy, and let me guess, the computer couldn't pick up that the train was there. According to Craig Doty, he had the full self-driving feature enabled, and the car didn't recognize the train, almost heading straight into it. Probably because it was foggy. He, that he had to intervene in order to save himself. He also went on to say that this isn't the first time the car had an incident with a train. As so why would you do it again? It almost ran into another one prior to this particular accident. 
many have blamed the driver of the car and stressed the I would say it's the fog on these automated systems so others have blamed it on the car what do you think about this I would Was say it the driver's fault or the systems it's also important to factor in that the conditions were suboptimal which could have played a role yeah regardless let me hear your thoughts in the comments yeah, I would say it was the fog, and like the the cameras on the car could not pick up that there was a train going across there, because you really couldn't see it until you got right up on it. However, like just me, if I were to own a Tesla or any car that can drive itself, I am never using that feature ever. I don't trust computers to. I don't, I'm not going to put my life in a computer's hands, man. I'm not... No. I don't trust that at all. Um, and considering that it happened before, <laughs> why would you let your car drive itself again? Um, especially in those conditions. Like, that would be the first thing I would think about. Uh, that's the first thing I thought about here, was, like, it's foggy so the car couldn't see that. The train. Like, why would you let your car drive yourself in that kind of condition? That's like letting your car drive itself in the snow. Like, <laughs> no. No, 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 man. Um, just, uh, the self-driving thing is one of the laziest things I've ever heard of, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how people get in Teslas and they sleep while their car drives them around. I don't know how people do that. I would not be able to, I can't sleep in a car as is, but like, especially if I'm in the driver's seat and I know that the car is driving itself, absolutely not. absolutely freaking lately not, man. Let me know what you guys think about that. Would you guys ever let your car drive itself? Would you ever use the auto drive feature, or have you used it? Um, let me know in the comments, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button, I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace.